Hello, my darlings. Happy Monday to everybody. How are you all doing? I hope you're well. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the third third part. Is it the third part? And did I say Monday? I've been poorly. As you guys know, I've had a little bit of a cold. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still not 100%. But I just really wanted to get a video up today because I miss you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just love creating, I do. This makes me happy. So please ignore him. Why have I got a tit on my face? That is literally a breast. I have a breast on my cheek. It's all the detoxing I've been doing this weekend to try and get this out. I've got a face tit, so I've put a bit of concealer on it to try and blend it in. But it's still there. Anyway, we are here. Third part of the Ralstons. We're going to get into the interiors a bit more today. What is this? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see that? A feather. A white feather. Can you see that? Come here. <laughs> what the hell's that from? Angels. <laughs> anyway. Also, I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight. A very, very special stream is happening tonight. I'm going to pop it up on the screen now. It's the Fresh New World. An all LGBTQIA plus Willow Creek world safe. And it's in benefit of True Colors United, which is an amazing foundation set up by Lucindy Lauper. Um, and they've got innovative solutions to youth homelessness that focus on the unique experiences of LGBTQIA plus young people. Um, I'm in this group collab with all of these amazing simmers. I'm going to be building a modern and contemporary home and a couple of sims as well to move in there. If you guys can donate, I'm not pressuring you or anything. I will leave a link down below. If you can, just go and check a few dollars or a few pounds, whatever you've got. I would be really, really appreciative of this. So far, I think collectively with all of these group of people, I think they've raised around about $4,000, which is absolutely amazing. I could be wrong. It could be a bit more. But when I last looked, that's how much was um, raised, which is incredible. So I want to do my part all week on Twitch this week. I'm going to be building and raising money for this amazing foundation that I just think is incredible. And I hope to see you there. If not, I hope you can. Or if you don't, it doesn't matter. But if you can donate, I would be really appreciative. And I think everybody in this collab will be very appreciative too. I just wanted to say that. We're going to get building now. Um, what was I going to say as well? Oh, I'm getting a delivery. So if you hear Blue Bork, which you probably just heard him snorting just a minute ago, then I'm sorry, but you might get a little bit scared. So be on the lookout for Blue barking today. Anyway. Let's get into game and we're going to start building. Okay, darlings, here we are. We're back at the Ralstons. Back at the Ralstons. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a weird mood today. I've been on code meds this whole weekend. To my tits. <laughs> um, I've done a few little details. Last time we left this place a little bit empty, so I've just made it a little bit better. Changed this little seating area around here. Um, putting some planters and stuff, done a bit more landscaping under the trees and whatnot. And I like it. I like that this is still detailed, just not heavily detailed, you know? It's still got a story. You can still see the family being out here and whatnot. Now, because Eva's only like a toddler at the minute, it, I didn't see any point in putting any kind of like, um, what would you say, like swing sets and stuff out here. She's going to have her own playroom as well, which is going to be in here. So I might put like a little slide or something in there. Um, excuse you very much. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I didn't really do much. Didn't really do much to it at all. Uh, but I like it. I like it. So today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be cracking on with the uh, main living area, the kitchen. And if we've got time, we'll go on to the dining room or the playroom or something. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit difficult today to do as much as I can downstairs, but um, we have got a lot more rooms and stuff to do next time as well. Oh, that glitch is just still happening. Look at that. Look at the state of that. That makes me so angry. <laughs> I think you guys know that by now as well. It does make me angry. It really does. <laughs> right, anyway, we're moving on. So, this is the living area here. Now, the thing is... I'm unsure. I think I might reduce the size of this 
and have a smaller walkway like there just so we've got a bit more room on this side to put some furniture i'm thinking that i'm gonna put a little tv in that corner i think um but it's just difficult to do the layout in here because this goes straight into the kitchen back here but we're gonna try anyway so let me have a little whiffle around see what sofas and stuff come to mind so i've put a little accent wallpaper on using that gorgeous new wallpaper from the paranormal pack i just wanted a bit little pop of color in here um so i might do that in other rooms as well I might pop a little bit more color in. we'll do it room by room now the kind of vibe i want to go for for this place i want to have it quite classic but still with a modern flair to it so lots of classic like furniture pieces and stuff but still with a little bit of a modern flair to it so i might um yeah i'll mix up what i can and so i like that color in here i'm just a bit unsure about it i kind of don't know i don't know i kind of i kind of like it it's just it, the only color it's sitting against weirdly is this green at the back here so maybe if i turn this color differently and just go for a plain white rather than the green that might help it let me see i think it might you know oh it does yes so I like those sofas. I like these ones, which I'd love to move this doorway here, but because of the stairs, we can't. We cannot. Um, and it's fine. They can still like come back in here. It doesn't really matter that the chair's like peeking out over the doorway too much. I might actually just move it in slightly here, actually. Just a little bit more, you know. And then I can whiffle that in a little bit more there too. Let me see this. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that flows a lot better through there. And I like this green. It kind of blends in with a bit of this like leafage going on on the wall i'm for it really am um okay i want a tv unit onto the side here how are you all doing I hope you had a lovely weekend i was in a horizontal position for all of my weekend oh i was feeling so rough my stomach everything was just not right it's still not 100 percent, but i feel a lot better i really really do and i've got energy now like i didn't have any energy we went for a walk yesterday in the pissing down rain um <laughs> It was nice. It was really nice. I just got soaking wet. Probably not the best thing to do when you're poorly. Um, but yeah, I spent most of it in a horizontal position watching TikTok videos, to be honest with you, and reading books. That was that was my weekend. Um, a unit, a nice unit. I'd like to use this one, but it's, I don't know, actually. That looks quite nice. But maybe I, I'm not going to be pressures on wood tones either. I'm going to be mixing up wood tones in this house. Um, maybe... I would imagine Felix being a bit of a collector of antiques and stuff as well. So maybe we can make that a bit apparent in here too. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, I'm going to put a little cheeky TV on. Just a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky one. Like this. I would wish we could turn these like to like, you know, so we could have them a little bit more like that. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. You know what I bloody mean. Let me see this. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't like it in black, though. I might go for a bit more of a paler one. Yeah, no, that's fine. In fact, what about if I just tilt this slightly as well? Make it. I wish we had corny units. I've said that before, but I would love a corny unit. Oh, do you know what? I, be, I prefer that. Just tilting the actual piece of furniture instead, just so it kind of faces. I mean, you'd be pissed off if you were on this sofa because you won't be able to see much. But this is The Sims. We're working with the limitations of what we've got. And The Sims will still be able to watch it. So it's fine. Let me see that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. I do. I really want to pull. Oh, do you know what I am? I'm going to do you to there. And I'm going to pull you all the way back. Screw you. Screw you. I will get you in. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I did a little bit of work off of camera. Changed the sofa color as well. I think that green just pops in here a bit nicer. I do like it. I do like it indeed. And I've used the new um, armchairs as well. Just a bit of a mix of furniture in here. A little bit more contemporary, but I quite kind of like it. Um, use this big coffee table uh, from Parenthood. This mat or this rug from the new pack as well. And I put a little like table, side table up on the top here with a little lamp. Oh my God, I'm going to fail today. I, I will warn you all. I will be failing at trying to speak today but i'm i don't know if i've told you but i'm very poorly <laughs> um do i want to mix a bit of a contemporary light in here i don't think i do i think i want to go a little bit more classic doesn't necessarily have to be a pendulum looking light either 
Um, I could go for these like soft box ones. I don't know because it is quite a tall ceiling. I wouldn't mind a bit of a pendulum coming down. Um, and we've got to remember their kind of tastes and stuff. So I'm going to go for this one. This like, I think that just suits the room nicely. Ignore the ceilings. Um, yes, very much for that. People keep asking for this ceiling mod as well. I think the creator doesn't exist anymore from what I've heard from people. So I have no idea where you would download it now. I'm so sorry. I have no idea where you would find it. Um, so I'm no help at all. Am I very, very bad? Um, okay, up here, I definitely want to get in a portrait of some kind. Maybe I could get in one of the old film star portraits. Why don't we? Oh, I kind of like that in here. I like this one in here. Oh, I'm kind of for that. Yes, we got to remember to reflect on Felix as well, because Felix is a kind of trailer editor for videos and stuff so i'm good i'm um, for film sorry so i'm gonna try and get that kind of reflected around in this place too now i do want a bookcase but i kind of like i don't know if i want to do two small ones either side here let me just see let me get rid of debug debug and live edit let me see if i can get like two smaller bookcases oh they need to be taller than that don't we have a medium height one i'm sure we do i'm gonna go for this one here which is from university i just think it looks a little bit more antiquey which i like um definitely need some sconces in here because um the lighting is a little bit off over this side i've put a console table in this kind of style behind this sofa as well just again just to try and add in a little bit of contemporary nothing too much i do want this house to be predominant predominantly classic mm, I don't, i'm unsure about this i'm unsure about that one there so i'm the other one I had in mind was like just the base game one or maybe even this one here. Oh, that's a good tone. That's kind of a matching tone with that. Oh, that's better. That kind of helps. That kind of blends in with the leg shape as well of the uh, sofas, which I'm kind of here for. Yeah, that's a bit better. I do prefer that. Yes. Yes, we'll go for that. Lovely. And then I'm, I want to get a couple of film posters, but I don't really want to put it up against the blue. What would you look like up against the blue over this side? Oh, I don't mind that. Let me see you. Let me see you there. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. I'm going to put you there. And then I'm going to do some film posters behind here. Um, and There's a really, really good one. This one here. I love this one. But I'm going to try and use like a... There's a... Where's that um, one with the like Marie Antoinette on it? Because I think the colours would blend really well in here. There it is. Oh, yes. We'll do two smaller ones of these. And then I'll use another one. Um, come on. Come through with the colours. Nothing too futuristic. I wouldn't like... No, I'm just going to use one. I'm just going to use one in here. I think it would match in quite well behind the sofa area here. Oh, I like that. We'll do a sconce on either side of the door frame here. And then maybe either side of the pick either side of the picture there. I do want to put a mirror in behind the um, fireplace as well. So I think I'm going to do that. And maybe a plant over in this corner. So let's find some sconces. Okay, we've gone for these sconces from Get Famous. I just think the colour matches in nice with the sofa. And I like the kind of antique vibe to it. I'm very much for it. Yes. Okay, this is not looking too bad. I was thinking about getting curtains up on the windows, but I don't think it's going to match in well. Well, the curtains they've got in game anyway. Plus, it's like they're going to be too small. So I'm thinking maybe just putting in some blinds in here. Wondering how these would... They don't even fit on curtains when they go on a diagonal. <laughs> oh, the joys of me fighting with the curtains every bloody week. Let me see this. I mean... These would look okay. They just don't really reach the floor and that bothers me somewhat. Oh, that colour's not too bad in here. Oh, I kind of like that. Can we do this? Can I like... Can... I hate them. <laughs> I hate curtains in The Sims 4. <laughs> I really do detest them. Je detest indeed. Oh, very much not for it. Um... Let me just move you the other way because you're very annoying. And I can put you there. 
plonk you back, get you into possession. If you can hear snorting in the background, it's blue. I do apologise, but he's very, very comfortable at the minute and we cannot hold that against it, can we? That's just going to have to do. Sorry about that. I had to go and get my delivery. So, um, yeah, we'll just pretend that they do reach down below, but they're hidden behind the sofa or the chairs even. Let me see this room. Yeah, no, it's nice. It is. I wanted to pop a bit of colour in here. I wanted that kind of like vibe to come across and it has worked. Um, let's get some details up in there. I do want to put a mirror in here as well. So we'll do that first. I've just um, got my gusto box and look what they gave me. They just popped it in there for free. Has anyone ever had this chocolate? The Tony's chocolate. Oh, it's so good. That one's sea salt, by the way. Um, mm, very nice indeed. Oh, I very much enjoyed that. Won't lie. Did have a little munch before I came back to recording. <laughs> You know, Blue kept looking at me like, is that for me? But no, Blue, it's for me. It's for me. Okay, well, that mirror's not working in there, is it? Oh, I don't know, actually. That blue and black mirror is working because of the wall and that portrait, but I'm thinking about just sizing it. Maybe I could do two and overlap them and make my own. Let's have a little look at that. Will that glitch out too weirdly? How, how big of a gap have we got going on there? Ooh, ooh, it's a bit high. It's a bit high. I will maybe bring it down to default, actually. Bring it down to there. Let me see how much we've got on either side here. Not the right amount, darling. Oh, I like that. Oh, no, look at that black glitching. Mm. Yeah, no, I do. I like it. I'm going to keep that. I'm doing it. It's happening. Right, and then above here, I'm going to put in some candles like a candle in the wind <gasps> don't know why i had to do that but i did well there we go maybe a couple of them in there yeah that looks too not too bad actually oh no in fact i want to use you i'm gonna put you up there instead in like a pale yeah that color yeah that's better that's better that seems a bit more them really yes very much so Okay, I want to get a plant in this corner. I'm thinking a big leafy number. So maybe I could use that big one from this one here. From oh, what? The movie Hangout stuff? Is that how old this plant is? And we are still yet to have a plant that kind of matches in with the brilliance of this. I do love that plant. Yeah, that, that looks nice in there. Yeah, I do like that behind there. And then above here, I'm going to put... Ah, I wouldn't imagine them being very flower people. But I, I reckon they will like a nice plant here and there. Or maybe you, actually, because you're nice and soft. What I mean by that is the colours are soft on it and neutral. Yeah, that looks nice. A little bit more contemporary once again. I would love to have like a little side table next to here, but it's just too... This is too small. Can I do one here? I don't want that to be challenged there though you know hmm maybe i'll do a little poofet next to it instead and maybe the poofet in question should be the one from um nifty knitting <laughs> sorry just sicked up a little bit then because i was using nifty knitting stuff but something like that you know just a little bit of texture i'm trying to play around with textures in here with the patterns on everything um I like it. I do. I like the blue as well. I like the blue, how it contrasts against everything in here. It's very nice. Right, what would it look like if I did the whole room in it? No, that's a bit too much then. I like the accent wall. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling it. Yeah, it's nice. I'm there now. I, when I was doing this, I was like, I'm not feeling this, but I'm there now. So it's okay. Okay, we're going to move on to the kitchen. Okay, into the kitchen. So I think this one here, the shaker style matches in well with the living room and stuff pulls that color over there nicely so i think i'm gonna go for that unsure on layout yet but maybe we can just whiffle this around and see what we come up with today darlings see what we come up with today uh do i want to go for this i wish we could have like range ovens and stuff like an or an arga i'd love to see an arga in the sims 4 very bored of all of the kitchen stuff in the sims 4 
very, very much. It's becoming difficult to furnish kitchens now because I'm so fed up with the kitchen counters. They are boring, they are ugly, and I'm not for them. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk today. Right, moving on before I end up crying. <laughs> um, I think what we'll do, the excessive age and I won't cry. <laughs> uh, I think what we'll do, do a little end piece there. This is the door into the uh, gym. And to get into the house, you have to come through. Well, if you've like driven, you have to come through the, the gym and into the kitchen area that way just makes sense in my eyes and I'm doing it so there yeah that's nice sorry I just had some more chocolate while I was thinking about what I was doing I'm I deserve it I was very poorly <laughs> so I'm, I want some chocolate I've been eating healthy food for three days and it's been very boring oh for god's sake I always cross out my bloody better build and buy I always do that very very annoying um, and I still get people asking me what mod this is. It's the Better Build and Buy mod from Twisted Mexi. It allows you to get into the live edit easier and I drop stuff from debug. Like, it's amazing. I couldn't build without it now. Why it's not a functioning game, I will never know. I think I'm going to do white cabinetry above it rather than going for blue. I don't know. I quite like the blue as well. Oh, no, I think I like the blue. Pulls a bit more of that blue over. Yeah, we'll do that. Do that. So I'm lying. We're just going to use the normal one. I'm going to do an island as well, I think. Excuse me. Around here. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I've got hiccups now. Please don't have hiccups, Agent. For goodness. We do not want you having hiccups, dear. Right. Can I slip that on the end there? Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, no, I can't. I hate you so much. I really do. Um, what about this one on the end here? No. <laughs> People always laugh at me with the kitchen cabinets and stuff saying, why are you doing it that way? We all have our own way of doing things, darlings. All right. You've just got to accept it. And then you you can move on. Moving on. <laughs> I really want to get an end piece on here. But that door frame pissing me right off I mean I could just go there it's easier yeah I'm not gonna put one there though no 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 shan't and won't <clears throat> and then uh I'm gonna put the sink here I'm gonna put the sink there oh blue that was a very big yawn very big yawn oh no in fact maybe I want to put the sink on the island I'll keep it there for the minute we're gonna go in and try and get this island shape Maybe a little bit difficult to get this island in because I don't want it to be too big in here. So I'm going to see what I can come up with. Hmm, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I know people are like, where are you putting the fridge? The fridge is going in here. This is utility room. So I'm going to put the fridge in there. The only problem is trying to put bar stools here. It's not going to work, Ugh, which I really, really wanted to put bar stools there because the door needs to open. Hmm, maybe I could just put an arch there instead then of putting a door there. Because then they wouldn't have to open it. They just need to be able to get behind it. And yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. That's happening. Yes, please. Thank you. Right. And I'm going to flop one of these. And I'm going to put a little archway in this bit here. Where are you? Uh, maybe not you. I hate the arches as well. <laughs> just hate them. I, w <laughs> I can't go like that in here, really. I hate seeing like smaller, like the same shaped smaller arch next to each other. It looks weird. So maybe I should go more like this in here. And if I can pop it right there. Mm, can I go a little bit more decorative with that? Like that kind of like vibe. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's fine. Now I did have tiles in here, but now we've got it open. I think I'm just going to put wood in there instead. Just so it looks seamless. I'm very much for it. Yeah, no, that's cute. That is cute. I do enjoy that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yep, it's happening. Okay, I'm going to choose some bar stools. I may not put a bar stool here, stool, stool here, though, just to keep that completely free and then just wrap them around that way. But we need to think. We're going a bit more glam with this kitchen. It is semi-contemporary, but I do want to hit it with a little bit more glam. What? Swatch. I hate this chair, but I'm just wondering what swatches it would cut. Yeah, but your shit. <laughs> yeah. Your shit. Don't ever do that again, Aiden. <laughs> don't, ever do, 
Don't ever do that again. Not with that chair. It should, it's not invited in this place. It really isn't. I mean, this one is going to suit the vibes, but it's just the underneath colours that I really detest. Well, not detest. Oh. I don't hate the yellow. Do you know, I wish I had yellow with that underneath colour. I didn't like the wood colour there. Oh, that just blends in. That's perfect. But I do want to maybe hit it with a different colour. Yes, there we go. So, I've used these ones here. Um, I think they're from Tiny Living. Yeah, they are. And I've put a little, obviously, a high chair here. Going to do some pet food moments down here as well. So, I'll plop a couple of them down here. Um, just to act as a food and water bowl. I wish that they made that happen. Does anybody else wish that they did like a food and water bowl for the dogs? It just doesn't make sense that they didn't. It bothers me. No end. <laughs> like a lot of the things in this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we'll use that mat down there as well. Or the little food mat. Stop the spillages and whatnot. Okay, got that going on. I have put the sink on the island as well. Now I could only... I could put three chairs here, but they would not be able to get through that. So I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as is. Yeah, I like how that's looking. I like how this kitchen is laid out now. I do want to, however, get in some, maybe a dishwasher as well. Um, I'll put the dishwasher over here next to the oven on this side. Um, boop -de boop just so it's near to the sink as possible. Um, yes, that's what we're going to do. So appliances. And maybe just a nice silver one. Or maybe even a white. A white could look nice. Yes. Yeah, I think they're... Yeah, I do. I do indeed. So what I might do, actually, I'm going to whiffle this around. Just change this just slightly. Get you there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Just so it's got a nice little triangle moment. Even though they've got to go all the way around here to go into the fridge. But, you know, sometimes people have got to do that. Yes, that's nice. I think we need some lights. I'm going to choose some lights in this kitchen. Um, I'm thinking like quite low pendulum-y looking ones. Maybe a little bit more contemporary with the lighting. Oh, no, in fact, you know what? Would, these lights would look good in here. But I think I'm going to do two in the kitchen. I'm going to do two in the kitchen. Like one that, let me just see that above. See if that's there and there. Oh, I do like that, but it does need to come over here. I think it needs to frame on the island itself. Yes. No, I like that. Yeah. And I was going to go contemporary, but I do like the classic vibe of it. I'm all for it. Let me just try one a minute. I just need to try one because two looks a little bit overkill to me there. Let me just size you down, darling. Yeah, we'll go for one. Oh, I like that. Yes, I'm for it, I tell you. So... In here, I need to put in a fridge, freezer, and also a washer and a dryer. I think I'm going to go for the... <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm going to go for just a, quite a slimline fridge. And I'll put it right by the door. Right there. Lovely. And then I'm going to do... Let's get into appliances. Where are you, darling? There you are. And then I'm going to get in a washer dryer moment here as well. That's what I'm going to do. Yes, I am. Yes, I very much am. Where are you? I can see them here, but where's the stacked ones? Well, screw you. I'll put my own in. Right, there we go. Oh, look at you. Look, not cutting into the wall for once in your bloody life. What a joyous day this is. <laughs> yeah, like a little washer dryer moment in there. Cheeky, cheeky. I'll do a bit more detailing in there, but for the minute that's in, that's all I'm caring about. Let me just see this. Yes, does need details though. Needs lots of details. I'm wondering if I can... I used to do this all the time. But for some reason, this build is just speaking to me and saying, put a splashback of the mirror variety behind the oven in this one. Let me see that. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Can you imagine having to clean that? <gasps> You'd be fuming. You'd be absolutely fuming. Right. And then I'm going to get in some things to hang up on the walls and stuff. There we go. Some pots and pans, some knives, some forks, some coffee machines. I put a little portrait over there as well. I've also put this little bench moment here that I might just scoot in just slightly. Some fish. I mean, what is a kitchen without some metal fish up on the wall? That's all I can say. And do you know what? I, you would get this in Dunelm. Definitely. You would get that in Dunelm. And I'm sure people would be like, what the hell is Dunelm? 
Sun Elm is like a little, I've spoke about it multiple times in the channel, but it's like a little like home store in the UK where they sell loads of home goods. Some of it's really good. Some of it's bloody awful, but we're going for it. We are, we're doing it. I'm going to put a little rug down here, maybe in a little pale blue number to stop the dog from dragging in all of the dirt into the kitchen. Yes, I'm very much for this kitchen. I'm very much for it. I'm going to put a little something up there as well, I think. I don't know what yet. And maybe some things up here, but I think I'll leave it as is for the minute. In fact, I'm going to put a couple of these sconces here. I am. You watch. Look. One and two on the either side of the archway there. Oh, stunning. And I think to finish up today, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the home gym really quickly. While we're here, we may as well. Unsure how long this episode is going to be or this part is going to be. Because um, I've been doing things in between. I've been answering doors and so I'm all out of all out of sync, love. So I really am. Okay, first things first. I do want to get some blinds up in here. And I think we should get in these in like a pale grey. One there. One there. And also one in the middle as well. Oh, stunning. Oh, that's not the one. Oh. 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 That's the darker grey. Oh, no, it's not. I was like, hey, is that the darker grey? That's the darker grey. Okay, so we've got a member. Maverick is an astronaut, so he's going to need to be as fit as fit can be. So I definitely want him to have everything in here, to be honest with you. Treadmills. I'm going to do a couple of treadmills, I think. A couple of treadmills. Let's get rid of... Oh, no, these aren't debug. Okay, let's get a couple of treadmills in. I think we'll go for these ones here. How much money have we got? We've got 400,000 simoleons. I don't think we're going to be stuck for money with this household definitely not um i kind of like these in here yes i'm gonna put two of these up this end and you can push these straight into the wall as well um and i'm going to oh, no i like the position of that one there oh christ on a bike for goodness sake and then i'm gonna put a mirror behind these as well stunning um where are you there we go yes I like that. Do I want to put a little TV in the middle of this? Kind of do, because they really... I love that they actually do watch TV when they're on the treadmill. I think that's quite cute. So I might actually do that there. Oh, God. Look how far it sticks out. For goodness sake. Oh. Honest to Betsy. <laughs> yes. Very much for that one as well. That was very um aggressive then. Very aggressive. I'm taking after the people that were just shouting out in the street then. <laughs> The Amazon delivery guy was like just uh, stopped in the middle of the street and there was people beeping their horns and everything outside like so. There's some angry bastards around lately. There really are. They need to get a grip. Someone's only trying to do their job, darling. Um, And you actually heard one of my neighbours going, he's delivering. He's doing deliveries. Well, he doesn't need to stop in the middle of the street. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an episode of EastEnders out there, darling. Because he really was... I don't like that one. I'm going to get rid of you. And I think I'm just going to do one of the generic looking ones. Do you come in a white? You don't. I want just a pale white. That matches in with them. They look a bit weird though. That's the one I just used. Yes. Why can't we just not have like a, just a normal looking, you know, weight machine would be great. That came in a plain color. Oh, Sims team. Seriously. I'm just going to use that one. That one there. Stunning. There, they should be able to get on there. No problem. And I'm going to do a little... Maybe one of those fighting machines. Do you know what I mean? The, like, kick thingy my bobs. One of these ones. Isn't there a better looking one than that? I'm sure there was. I don't like that at all. Why has it got hair on it? <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's a branch. Why have you got branches on you? I don't understand the story behind that. And I'm not going to try and... There he is. Yeah, I'm not going to try and guess what the story is behind it. Um, well, that one with the purple on was the only one we could do, really. I'm going to pop you there. They should be able to get there, no problem. And then I'm going to do a nice little row of lockers there. So we're going to storage. Storage. Um, mis miscellaneous storage. Pop a little few lockers there. Gorgeous. Um, I might actually mirror this whole... Oh, the walls that I can. I think I'll just mirror all of them. 
Um, and then I can I can I do two more there? I can, but I will need to whiffle that along slightly. Yes. Yes, okay. I'm gonna keep the lights the same as well. Just a single spotlight is absolutely fine. And it they do need a little bit of um music in here, shall we say. So I'm gonna flop in a little stereo for them as well. Uh just in white. Just stop there. And I won't even size you down. There we go. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Happy with that indeed. Right off to the kitchen as well. Nice little leeway here. Yeah, I'm for it. I'm absolutely for it, I tell you. Okay, this is. I'm going to do a little bit off of camera with this place as I normally would. Um, so tomorrow, what I'll probably do, or oh, off camera, I'll do the hallway. I'll furnish this bathroom as well. And then we'll come back tomorrow. We'll do the playroom, we'll do the dining room, and then we'll move up to the master bedroom, I think. This is going to be the master bedroom because it's got an ensuite. We do have a separate kind of family bathroom there. And this is going to be Eva's little bedroom. And then there's two guest bedrooms as well. But we do know that these guys are looking to adopt um, and a child as well. So we do kind of need to make a child's bedroom. Maybe not with the fireplace. Maybe this one over here. And have this as the guest bedroom. Oh, I'm absolutely for it. But yeah, I like it. I like how it's came out. I like the colours. It's nice. It's got a good vibe in here. It's fresh, but it's still kind of classic. And I'm for it. There we are, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming today from me and my big fat face tit. I really much appreciate it. Get some lovely comments down in the comment box. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll carry on with this. I've got lots of things coming this week. We've got a Design Me Devon coming this week. Another special video coming this week as well. And I think I've got a speed build coming out this week. We haven't had a speed build in quite a while. So be on the lookouts for that too, my darlings. As I said, please try and join me on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. GMT. We're going to be doing the charity stream for True Colors United. I'm very much excited for this. And if you can, please donate down below. But don't feel pressured to. I just really, really want to try and raise as much money as I can for this amazing charity. And I'd be very appreciative if you did. But anyway, I'm going to leave you now. And I will see you tomorrow, you gorgeous buggers. Goodbye.